in today's video, TJ Dillashaw opens up about EPO use, Aljamain Sterling responds to Dana White's praise of Dillashaw, Charles Oliveira and Islam Makhachev share mutual respect ahead of UFC 280, Oliveira predicts first round knockout finish of Makhachev, Makhachev responds to people saying he hasn't beat any top fighters, and the UFC parts ways with three more fighters. After a two-year USADA suspension and another year and a half away getting knee surgery, MMA fans continue to hound TJ Dillashaw with the accusations that he was and probably still is a cheater. In a new interview with BT Sport, Dillashaw opened up on EPO use that cost him his bantamweight title and explained how that EPO ended up in his system and why he took it. Here's the clip. Why take those steps? Uh, to be myself, you know, um, I was a shell of a man of who I, well, who I was, you know, supposed to be the baddest man on the planet, drop into a weight class that my body physically wouldn't let me do, uh, full blown anemic, like what, six, eight weeks out before the fight, um, not wanting to wake up, not wanting to train, um, not feeling like I could live up to the biggest fight of my life, you know, so I took an anemia medication that... I knew I couldn't, but I knew that it would get me back to where I where I was, you know, the fight that I wanted. You knew the consequences, though, of what could happen. Yeah, I mean, I've kind of fessed up to all that, right? I've kind yeah, of manned up to the whole situation that, like, I knew going into it that I wasn't supposed to be doing it. But, um, you know, I had a, 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 I was chasing something that was, like, you know, going to line my pockets forever. It was going to submit some more legacy, just something that... My body wouldn't let me do, but my mind wanted to. Just my ego, I guess you'd say, right? Just my ego of like, I'm the best. I'm going to get this done, you know? Aljamain Sterling is not happy with Dana White's comments about TJ Dillashaw. The UFC president recently said in an interview with TSN that Dillashaw handled his USADA suspension like a man. Um, you know, we all make mistakes. And uh, how you recover from those mistakes is how people will, will look at you, so... Dillashaw took responsibility. He, 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 he took it like a man, sat it, waited, sat, sat out, and, and now he's coming back. So let's see what he does. Now, Sterling responded to Dana White's praise of Dillashaw during a recent media scrum. Strange, man. Dana's an interesting cat, man. Some I, I, I like Dana a lot, but some of the things I, I just have to wonder, like his, his reasoning and his rationale, like... You're praising the guy who got caught and saying that he did it the right way and did it like a man. What is man, like, what about that was manly? The guy got caught. He didn't come clean, Dana. I, I, I'm just, I don't get it. And uh, I think it's a very odd thing to say. Um, like, who else? Is, there's, so, there's been so many people who've popped, and a lot of them have been, like, real, like, legitimate, like, tainted stuff. And... I, I don't get it. Like, what makes this situation more like a man versus anybody else? I, I really don't understand. Unless you got caught red-handed, you know you cheated. It's like having the needle in your hand, knowing you're about to do it, and you're like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Then that's different. But saying that he's more of a man, I, it's a very weird and uh, odd thing to say. Islam Makhachev and Charles Oliveira once again ran into each other ahead of their UFC 280 title fight. The two fighters seem to have mutual respect as the two bumped fists in the hotel hallway. Here's a video. Charles Oliveira predicts a first round knockout finish of Islam Makhachev this Saturday. Early on in Oliveira's UFC career, many called him a quitter as they claimed he looked for ways out of fights when it wasn't going his way. That has continued to follow him throughout his career as Michael Chandler and Justin Gaethje both said he would quit when they fought him which didn't prove to be the case. With that, heading into his UFC 280 vacant lightweight title fight against Makhachev, Oliveira said on a UFC promo video that he is a complete fighter and has no weaknesses. He also believes he's too dangerous for Makhachev and will KO him early. He said, 
I would think a lot before trying to take Charles down. He, Islam, fought against strikers who were afraid to go to the ground. I'm not afraid of it. With my BJJ, if you make a mistake, I'll finish you off. I'm a better striker, better on the ground, better wrestler. I have no weaknesses. My weaknesses are long gone. That's the truth. I'll make history. The belt comes back home. I'll knock him out in the first round. What do you guys think of this prediction from Oliveira? Do you think he can knock Makachev out in the first round? Leave your thoughts below. Islam Makachev has responded to people saying he hasn't beat any top fighters. In an interview with UFC News, Makachev addressed the criticism and explained why he doesn't agree with those claims. Here's the clip. He have uh, many like hard fight in UFC. He beat a lot of high level guys, but now he say Islam not deserve some title fight, but look at his win streak before the title title fight. He beat just two like tough guy Kevin Lee and uh, Tony Ferguson. Before that fight, Kevin Lee have like seven fight and five fight he lose from. And what about Tony? Same things. He's the last five five fights, he lose all the fights. And he say Islam not deserve, but when he fought for the title, I, I didn't say nothing, you know. That's why I beat, I have now 10 fight win streak, and he have 11 fight win streak, it's gonna be a very big fight for the all fans. The UFC has parted ways with another three fighters according to recent reports from UFC roster watch on Twitter. The three fighters recently removed from the UFC roster are heavyweight Alexei Olenek. The Russian was removed from the UFC's active roster after fighting out his most recent contract with the promotion. Olenek most recently competed at UFC Vegas 61 on October 1st, suffering a unanimous decision loss to Ilir the Sledgehammer Latifi. The 45-year-old had gone just 1-4 over his past five octagon appearances overall. The second fighter released from the UFC is bantamweight Randy Costa. Costa was served his walking papers after suffering three straight stoppage losses under the UFC banner. And the third fighter removed from the UFC roster is welterweight Yamato Nishikawa. Nishikawa was expected to make his octagon debut against Magomed Mustafaev at this weekend's UFC 280 event in Abu Dhabi. However, according to reports, the Japanese standout is still under contract with another promotion and thus has been removed from the UFC's active roster until that situation is resolved. Here are the top three funniest memes we found over the internet. Third place was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named The Epic Salad. Second place was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named UFC Kink. And our top pick was also found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Derek R. Sim. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.